everyone, Mike here from Hebden Photography, back once again, this time with a quick tutorial on how to remove someone from a photograph. Here I have a picture of my daughter. There she is, number five, about to try and pass by uh, her opponent to her teammate here, and we have a coach in the way. I feel like, even though this isn't a killer photo, it certainly would be a lot better without uh, the coach in the way. So I thought we'd try and remove her. First thing we'll do is duplicate the layer, the background layer. You can do that a number of ways. You can hold Control J or Command J on a Mac, or you can just grab this layer and drag it down to the Add Layer button, and uh, you'll get a copy of the layer. Now using CS6, which we are, or hopefully you are, we are going to use the Content Aware fill for this. What I want to do is select the coach fairly close to her body. I don't have to be perfect with this. I want to get all of her though. But I'd like to leave as much of the surrounding area as I can to sample from. So what Photoshop does is goes around the surrounding area and tries to figure out what you want in here based on what's close by. And sometimes it's really good. In this particular case, because we've got a person that isn't mixed in with other people, she's not overlapping other people, and I have a really nice solid or textured background, I think we'll get some fairly decent results. Up here to edit, down to fill, and here we have some, a drop down. If yours doesn't say content aware here, you drop it down and find content aware. And then click OK. And there we have a pretty good try at removing this person. Um, up here we got a bit of a problem, so we'll have to fix that. And here's what I think we'll do. Now your photo is going to be different, obviously. So really these are just fundamental rules. These are rules that can help you uh, diagnose what you have to do in your own image. For mine, I think what I'm going to do is I've grabbed my... Uh, marquee tool, my rectangular marquee tool, and I'm going to sample this wall over here. Take a nice selection of that, and I'll hit Control J, Command J on a Mac, and I've created a new layer, which just has, if we look at only that layer, it just has the bit of wall on it that we selected. I can grab my move tool and move this wall and put it in line with where we had it. Now obviously this isn't perfect either. We can see here we're cutting into a shadow and it doesn't line up as far as the tone and I've blocked off some door here. What I'll do is I'll go over to my add layer mask icon which is uh, right here. If I hold the alt key option on a Mac and click that It'll add a black mask, which blocks out all of the changes we did. And I'll go over to my brush here, and I'll paint with white. You can see white is my foreground color, and I'll paint that white right on the mask. Now you can tell when we're on the mask, because it's being, it's got a little selection ring around it. So we're on the mask, here we're on the image. We paint on the mask with white over the area that we didn't like. There we go. So now if you look, if we just show this layer now, you can see that really we've only got that tiny bit of wall now, and the rest of it's masked up. But it's helped to line up things properly here. It looks pretty good. That uh, was really quick, really easy. Um, it's not always that easy. Here we go, here's our before and after. So before and after. It looks pretty decent. Obviously they're not all going to be this easy. There's a lot of different ways. If you have a photo that you're having trouble with, I'd be happy to use it in a tutorial. Send it to Mike at HebdenPhotography.com and I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.